So now we're going to be looking at uniform acceleration motion. Um, and so what this is, is just those typical questions where they give you uh, a certain object is moving um, at a certain speed in this amount of time um, and it has this acceleration and they want you to find different um, aspects of it. The distance, the time, the velocity, the final velocity. Um, and so there's only really four equations that we really need to memorize that we need to know for the MCAT. Um, and so that is these four equations right here. So the first one says distance is the velocity initial times the time plus one half at squared. Um, and the second one v equals v naught plus at. Um, third one v squared equals v naught squared plus two ad and d equals v naught plus v over two times t. And so the important part is knowing what is not given in each of these equations. Um, so for example, this one, what isn't given? Well, we know that the final velocity, v final, is not given, okay? And so that's important to know because it's important to know which one's not given so we know which equation we use because they will only give us a certain amount of the information and whichever one they don't give us, we know that that's the equation that we're going to be using. In this one, we aren't given d. In this one, we aren't given t. And in this one, we aren't given a. So it has all four of our variables covered. So for example, if they give us everything except the time, we know that we use equation three. If they give us everything except acceleration, we use equation four. So these equations will be very, very useful for us. Um, and so we'll just start off with an example. Um, so an individual starting at rest travels 20 meters at a constant acceleration of 10 meters per second squared. How long does this take? So the first thing we want to do for these types of questions, um, we could draw a picture. Um, it's not going to help us too much, but so he starts from rest. So he starts with a V naught at rest and he goes um, for a certain distance. How long does it take? So that's not really important to us. What we need to know um, are the variables involved. So V naught is what? Zero, right? Because he starts from rest. He travels 20 meters. So that's d equals 20 at a constant acceleration of 10, right? We want to find t, um, but what didn't it give us? Well, it didn't give us v final. So we were never given v final. So if we look back at our equation. If we're not given v final, we use the first equation right there. All right, so the equation that we use is d equals v naught t plus 1 half a t squared. Okay, then we just plug stuff in. Okay, so um, let's see, so 20 equals V naught times T, so zero times T plus one half times A T squared. So this is zero. So 20 equals five T squared, T squared equals four, and T equals two. So our answer will be two seconds.